That's good, my cave. Good afternoon to you. Jason here with another video to help you sharpen the accuracy of your Gallic. So, in this brief lesson, let's take a look at using plural adjectives. So how you describe three or more of something. Mm -hmm. The good news is that there's a very distinct pattern to follow, it's very consistent, and also it's pretty straightforward. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, Lochen Mau, let's talk about big lakes or great lakes for you folks in Michigan. Lochen Maura. There's an A on the end. What about small trees? Kruvan Pika. There we go. Tall mountains? Bjountan Arsta. Mm hmm. What about white houses? Tayin Giala. Hmm. And of course, sweet cakes. Delicious cakes. Kaken Milisha. So the pattern here is you add an A or an E to the end of short adjectives. Short meaning they're one syllable. So you can clap out the, the beat for them. Mor, Bik, Arsht, Gyal, Milish. They're quite short. So when you pair them with three or more of something, with plural nouns, you just add on another beat to the end. So it becomes Lochan Moura. Kruvan Bika. Bjountan Arsta. Tayin Gyala. Kaken Milisha. Mm. When I'm saying those, it just feels nice to say. It feels like they're more balanced. Like they're rounded. Let's let's do a little test. Let's try um, white houses without this extra a. So tayin gyal. Okay, there. To me, it feels like there needs to be something that comes next. It's tayin gyal, and you're just left hanging. Okay, let's try it with the a. Tayin gyal. It just feels concluded. Feels resolved. Yeah. Hmm. Tayin gyala. So there's that rhythm to it because Gaelic is like a song. It's like poetry. Mm hmm. Tayin gyala. Leva. So this is this is all you do with short adjectives like mor, bake, jedak, goram, gyal. Any of those. Mm hmm. All right. So let's come over here <clears throat> to our flutikin because it's springtime. There are lots of beautiful flowers. Mm. So let's talk about the Flüdichen. So, pink flowers. Flüdichen pinka. Mm -hmm. Flüdichen pinka. What about red flowers? Flüdichen jeraka. Mm -hmm. Blue flowers? Flüdichen godama. Mm -hmm. Yellow flowers, like the beautiful daffodils we have, or the dandelions. Flüdichen buya. Buya. It's one beat, one syllable. It's a short adjective. Buya. But we don't add anything to it because it already has a, a vowel on the end. It has an A or an E on the end already. So we can't add one. We don't add another one and make it buya. <laughs> as fun as that would be, we don't do that. We just leave it as is. If there's a vowel on the end already, you just leave it. Booyah. And then what about white flowers, like some nice daisies? Flüdichen gyala. Just put an A on the end. Nice. Just like that. Mm -hmm. So many of your colors will do that too. Ooh, black flowers. Why not? Flüdichen dua. <laughs> Flüdichen dua. Mm, Flüdichen dua. Gleva, gleva. So, perhaps you're wondering, well, how do you know if it's a, an A or an E? Well, most of the time it's going to be A, and occasionally it's going to be E. And you can check. There's a little test you can do. So looking at maur, the last vowel, or the only vowel, is an A or an O. A or an O. 
and these are in the same vowel family in Gaelic. Mm -hmm. So they like to work together. So if it's an O or an A, you add a, an A. Bake, the last vowel here, is an A. So again, A and O are in the same family. So A, you'd add an A. Arsht, the only vowel here is an A, so you add an A. Gyawa, well, this is an A, so you add an A. Milisha, well, the last vowel here is an I. An I and E work well together. Mm -hmm. I and E. So that's when you add the E, if the last vowel is an I. Mm -hmm. Milisha. Milisha. Mm -hmm. Gyawa. Arshta. Bekka. Maura. And once you get used to seeing them and hearing them a little bit, they'll just start to feel right. Mm -hmm. As your Gallic instincts build, you'll have, a, you'll have a sense for just what sounds right, what sounds like the song of Gallic. Yeah, it'll come. It'll come. Believe me. It takes some time sometimes. But it will. It will. I guarantee it. All right. Maura, Beka, Arsha, Giala, Milisha. Mm-hmm. Milisha. Nice. So, again, with short adjectives, you add an A or an E to the end if you can. Some of them you can't. Like with Buya, you don't do that. Mm -hmm. Again, we're balancing out that adjective sound. So let's look at some more examples here. We have some animals. And I'm reflecting on things. I tend to talk a lot about cats and tea. So I've added in some dogs and some horses to our mix here. Mm, a, number of, um, a number of folk I know are involved with horses. Um, a friend of mine down in the southern U.S., she does horseback archery. She just got a new horse and she's training him up to, so that she could do horseback archery. And when I released my story video about um, how I used to do archery on the Isle of Isla, on the beach, a um, number of folks sent me emails saying, oh, we do archery too, and we do horseback archery. And um, one lady sent me pictures and a video. It was really something to see. It looked like a lot of fun. I'm, I do land-based archery myself, two feet flat on the ground. <laughs> Maybe I'll do um, horseback archery one day. So for my, my horseback archer friends, I put in a you put in horses <laughs> all right so if we're describing um, like land features pretty straightforward or houses and food always nice flowers that's how it works how does it work with animals like this let's take a look so con our dogs con so what kind of dogs do we have um, let's do little dogs con Right, so we know because bake, bake is a short adjective. So we're going to add an A, just like we did up here. But we're also going to add an H at the beginning. We're going to lenite. Why do we lenite? Well, it's not to annoy the crap out of you. <laughs> Even though it feels like that sometimes. It makes it easier to say. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier to say. So, for example, let's try this together. So, without the H... Con beca. Try this with me, um, paying attention to your mouth. Con beca. Con beca. Okay. Con beca. And now let's try it with the H. Con veca. Con veca. Con veca. When I say that, my tongue doesn't move nearly as much. My mouth doesn't move as much. It's less work for, for my body to say it. Yeah, that's the point. That's the whole point of all this lenition stuff. It's, it's kind of annoying to, to remind yourself when you need to put in H's and learn when that happens. But really, it's to make Gaelic easier to say for you. So you use less energy speaking. Mm -hmm. There's a point to the madness. There's a point. Oh, what, is it? what do they say? There's a method to the madness. There we go. Yeah, there's a method to the madness, there's a point to the chaos. All right, convecca. That's kind of nice. Convecca. Convecca. Mm. And then let's look at some kech, some cats. Convecca. Convecca. Kech, um, big cats. Kech. Kech. 
va ora. Kech va ora. Kleva. Kech va ora. Big cats, like tigers and leopards. Ich. What kind of horses do we have? Ich. Ich. Um, tall horses, yeah? Ich. Arste. Ich arste. Tall horses. Yeah. A can't add an H. This A cannot lenite. So we don't add in an H. M can, B can, but A doesn't do that. Ich arste. That just sounds nice. Ich arste. Ich arste. Gaelic is really like a poem. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Once, you, once you're just so used to having it in your life and in your mind, it becomes very easy to, to see these poetic qualities to it. Ich arste. English, white horses, but in Gaelic. Ich arste. <laughs> Let's talk about some fish. What do we got? Ishk. Little fish. Ishk. Just like up here with the dogs, right? Ishk. Ishk. Vika. Oh, what we're doing here. Ishk Vika. Mm hmm. Okay. And birds. Ewing. Ewing. What kind of birds? Um, mm, Ewing. Do big birds for fun. Big old birds. Ewing. Vora. Ewing. Vora. Mm hmm. So, con. Con vika, kech vora, ich arsta, ishk vika, yuin vora. Nice. Now, why are there H's here? Why are we lenighting? We didn't appear. No, we didn't. And there's a simple answer for it. It's because these plurals. These plurals end in an I. Mm -hmm. These ones don't. With these ones, you're just adding on A-N to the, to the singular form. Like lake, lakes, tree, trees. Mountain kind of changes a bit, but more or less, you're just adding in mountains. Tai is a house. Taiyin, houses. Cake is a cake. Cake-en. Cakes. And this is how most of the time Gaelic will deal with three or more of something. These are most common up here. There are a couple plural forms here, a couple of these uh, multiple forms, which they change completely. And they, if they end in a, an I, that's when you lenite, that's when you add this H. Con vika, kech vaura, ends in an I, so it's MH. Ich. Yeah, the last vowel here is an I, but A cannot do that, so A is fine. What about ishk? Yeah, last vowel is an I, so we add an H at the beginning. Yoin, the last vowel is an I, so we add an H at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way va. So, again, the pattern is quite straightforward. With short adjectives, you add an A or an E to the end of it, if you can. Some of them, like buya, you can't, because they already have an A or an E on the end. You can't stack them up twice. Mm -hmm. If your plural form, if your three or more of something, ends with an I, then you're going to add this H at the very beginning. Convica. Yeah, convica. There we go. Convica. Mm -hmm. Convica. Kech vora. Ich arste. Ich vika. Yuin Vora. There we go. For fun, let's tag on a few more here. Because you can, you can put on multiple adjectives. You'll see this sometimes. Sometimes. Convic, convica. Maha. What, kind of, what kind of dogs are they? Convica. Mm. Hmm. Convica. Hmm. Convica, what do we got? Convica, black 
Little black dogs, little white dogs, little blue dogs. Oh, that could be fun. <laughs> Let's do that. Konveka Gorama. Konveka Gorama. This just follows from the noun here. Same deal. Gorama. Konveka Gorama. Little blue dogs. Mm. Kich Vora. What do you got? Kich Vora. Um, Kich Vora. Mm. What do we got? Kich Vora. Kich mm. Vora. Let's put Kich Vora. Mm. Mm. Let's make them um, big white cats. So in Gaelic, when you use the word white, for, as I understand it, as I was taught, um, when you use white for a creature with hair or fur, we actually don't use the word gyal. Gyal, we use a different word. We use ban, which means like fair or light colored. Um, like blonde. If someone's blonde, you'd say, oh, they're ban. Ha falt ban er mari. Mari has blonde hair. Ban, ban, yeah. So this is how, as I understand it, traditional Gaelic um, describes white creatures, white living things, animals, and also hair color. So, kicht vora vana. Kicht vora vana. Mmm, kicht vora vana. Big white cats, like snow leopards. All right, you got our ich. Ich arsche. Ich arsche. How about tall um, black horses? Ich arsche. Rua. Ich. Ich. I almost said hua. <laughs> tall black fish. Oh, gotta watch out for those. All right. Ich horses. Ich arsche rua. Ich. Ich arsche rua. Mm. Ich arsche rua. That sounds epic. Tall black horses. Tall black steeds. What about our fish here? They're small, they're big. Um, why not make them yellow? Little yellow fish. Ich vika vuya. Vuya. Yep, vuya. Weva. Ewing here. Birds. Big birds. What do we got? Um, big birds. Ewing Voda. What are they? Ewing Voda. Big tall birds. Maybe like a, um, maybe like hawks or eagles. Yeah. Ewing Voda. Arshta. There we go. Yoin voda ashta. Kleva. Yoin voda ashta. Ishk vika vuya. That just sounds nice. Ishk vika vuya. That's like poetry. Ishk vika vuya. In English. A little yellow fish. But in Gaelic. Ishk vika vuya. Mm. So cool. Ich arsche rua. Tall black horses. Um, Kicht vora vana. Big white cats. Kon vika rurama. Little blue dogs. Because that can happen. Right. So this is how we use short adjectives. Short adjectives like more, big, do, pink, jadak. Any adjective that is one syllable long, like that. And this is how it works. Thank you for joining me. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Gleva.